Yo guys, welcome to today's video. Today, we're headed to the shop. I'm on a new camera, so you better freaking focus. Headed to the shop, we're gonna do some more EF stuff today. I'm feeling good on this Monday. Kinda, maybe. We'll see what happens. But, we're pulling in. As you can see, we're in the old vet. We're going to scrape and squeak. God dang, race brakes. We made it. All right, going in. I don't know what the hell that was, but we're on a GoPro. We're on a new GoPro. And I started to uh, do a little work day on the old hatch, and I forgot to pick up the camera. So let me show you what I've done so far. I went ahead and stripped the entire front of the motor off. Got the turbo, the exhaust manifold, all the lines, feed lines, all of the, I got the, uh, the, uh, crap, can't think today. Oh, I got the, uh, hydraulic to, or cable to hydraulic conversion off. I started stripping some other things off of this thing. We are going to go ahead and just drop this thing smooth out the bottom because I, I, I'm tired of dicking with it. I'm going to pull it out, do it, do it again, do it correct and get it back in. So Bravis. I believe is on his way uh, tonight or in the morning. So I want to try to get this thing out, get it back in the hole. That way when he gets here, all we got to do is wire it up and get this thing going. So that's my goal tonight is at least get the motor out. Probably not going to be a whole lot of working content in it, but I just want to bring you guys along with me. I know you guys want to see more work and things happening on the hatch and it is, and I'm trying really hard. It's just how many times can you watch a motor be pulled in and out of a car? So I'm going to pull this motor out, bring you guys along with me on this deal, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. I mean, I appreciate everybody that's that's been subscribing and hitting the, hitting the notification bell and like button and stuff. You know, I appreciate shit out of that. So you guys just keep that up. Keep that going. So I am going to get my ass to work. Okay, first thing first. Got to move the Mustang. Got to move the Mustang. Got to move the Mustang. Move the Mustang. Move the Mustang. Move the Mustang. And, oh, and come on, move car. Oh, this damn thing is heavy. It's so heavy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Lock it down. Lock it down. Oh, and. You guys all know if you follow me on Instagram, I got the LS pulled out, got the tranny off of it last night and everything else. That is almost ready to go in there. So, and I've got a hell of a mess in my shop because damn, look at it. I mean, ho le poop. But, back to this. Please. It's stuck in there forever. Oh, my Lanta. Well, it's a sucky one. Down she goes. Uh oh, last one. Yeah. All right. I just keep dropping them everywhere. L bucket. All right. She is a loosey goosey, loosey doosey. So we are gonna, and I can't believe I have a nose that's still on and it's off. Okay, so we're about to drop this thing onto a cart and we're gonna do it the young static way. Last time we did this, it took us like forever. So we're gonna drop it out the bottom this time because I ain't gonna do that again. So, as everyone knows, in a Hasport, for the Hasport hardware, this is an 18. Uh, excuse me, I'm sorry, I think that's a 19. And then you got three 17s on your tranny, another 19 over there, and then you already got the back mount 17s and in the in 19. So, there you go, you know that now. I am going to, what was I going to do? Allen wrench. You got a big old ass Allen wrench you got to have. So. Let's find that. Dun, 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 dun. 
I don't know where my big ass sandwiches have gone. But we're gonna find them. And I like singing to you guys. You guys like my singing? No, no one likes the singing. Oh, crap, they're not over here. They're over here. All right, Big Allen Ranch time. Let's see where the Big Allen Ranches are. All my stuff is missing. I'm about to get mad. I'm about to get real dang mad. I mean real mad. Okay, please hold. I gotta find my stuff. Found it. Found it. It is a, you can use a T. Let me spin around. Whoa, too fast. Too fast again. Too fast again. T55. T55 works on these Hasport Allens right here. So you can use the T55. Couldn't find my big Allen wrenches, but so we are about to set this thing down on the ground. She is loose. Look at that, loose, goose. So like I said, I'm pulling this motor out again because I want to basically get this thing right. I want it to be perfectly fine and, and work great. I've already marked on the firewalls where they need to be cut and trimmed, and I'm gonna rebrace it with all the welds and everything we need to do. We're also gonna repaint the engine bay since we junked it last time. I mean, it's Junior's fault, not mine, Junior. Sorry, Junior, your fault. So, that being said, I'm pulling the motor out tonight and getting this thing ready for tomorrow so I can continue on with that when Bravest gets here. Went from Lucy Goosey to out. Got that thing out. Now, as you can see, I marked where these things need to be either trimmed. Now, this is barely hidden, so I'm just going to trim this back. This is a little, you see, if y'all can see how this is indented right here, or I mean, it's how it's bulging out. That needs to be inside just a little bit. And there's two little places on the firewall right here. Those two little places right there need to be uh, taken care of. And as you can see, we scratched the piss out of the firewall. And I mean, it's just, the whole thing is just bad. So we are gonna repaint it. Man, this thing got all scarred up right here. And somehow or another, I missed putting this thing on. So we gotta do that anyway. But the motor's out and that gives us an opportunity to go ahead and get things wire tucked and cleaned up on this motor. This thing is just sitting here and you go ahead and get this off like that. Sitting there perfectly fine. It can roll around, do everything it needs to do. And I can get more motor stuff done outside the car. So that is perfect, guys. We are getting, this thing is gonna be immaculate when it's done. And yes, the tracking bar is coming. I don't know if y'all can see me or not, but hello. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cut. I gotta cut. Sorry if I'm yelling it's really loud. I'm gonna go ahead and trim back this little piece of metal right here. And then I've got to cut just a small bit out of this. Let me just show you guys. All right. If y'all can see, I put a little mark. This little mark that's right there. I've got to shave that back a little bit. So what I've decided to do is go ahead and cut this off. Now I do know that this is part of the structure of the car, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cut any more than like just this little lip. See that, it's got that little quarter inch lip right there. I'm gonna cut that and clean that up. I'm not gonna cut any of these spot welds or anything like that. And then I'm gonna take and cut a little bitty spot out of this and then re-weld the plate into this little uh, archway right here. Same thing on the other side because it's barely hitting the transmission right there and barely hitting on the other side as well. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut out a little patch or a little, a little hole, I guess you'd call it and then re-weld a stronger plate in. And I may even go ahead and cut it a little bit bigger and then brace this whole thing right here. Just because of how much torque and horsepower this thing's about to have, I, I just want it to make sure that it is about as solid as it can get. It may add a little bit of weight, but a little bit more weight and a lot more safety. Making sense? I know when someone's in the comments gonna be like, oh, you're gonna ruin the car and blah, blah, blah. Well, guys, it's it's already been gutted and cut. So, I mean, what's another little hole in the deal gonna make it better? You know what I mean? So, that's what we're gonna do.
Okay, we got her cut. And like I said, I'm just gonna take a little bit off. And I'm gonna take that and fill that back in. That way our training will clear just fine. And I'm gonna do this to the other side. See how it's got a little indenture right there and knocked it in? And it's got a little bit right there it needs to clear. So I'm gonna take do the same thing and replate it. Flapper. Hey. Yeah. Cool. That's hot. Don't touch it. It's hot as it can get. Shoo. And that done. Now what we got to do. Bye bye. Now. What we're going to do. Okay. Now, since we've got that cut out right there, that'll actually clear the pulley and uh, allow us to run, I think, yeah, I don't know anyway. But anyway, that right there allow the pulley to, to clear. I'm gonna clean it up, flat disc it, and get it all cleaned up the way it should. And then I'm gonna rebrace it with a thicker piece of metal and make this thing stronger than it was before. And that should make us clear everything that we need. Then, repaint the damn engine bay and get the motor stuck in the hole. Look at my little face guard, huh? Face! So, that's what I'm gonna continue on doing. Oh, dang it. Please hold, we got some more work done on the old hatch today. So, we actually got all that cut out. I've got some plates made and everything else. I'm gonna call that a night, cause I'm tired. And I'm leaving, I'm ready to go home, I'm take my big ass to the house. So, if you wouldn't mind, maybe you hit that notification bell. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Oh, be nice to somebody, okay? Do something nice for somebody. Give them a little, give them a little wave or something, you know? Just give them a, hey. Okay, okay, goodbye. Crap, I almost forgot. We got some t-shirts coming out, guys. Uh, Go over to, what is it, SCG, SC Garage? I think it's scgarage.bigcartel.com. Okay, I'll put it down here, right in the, right in the, I don't know, I don't know where the hell it's gonna be at on the screen, but it'll be right there on the screen somewhere. Uh, don't place any orders yet, because the t-shirt that's on there, actually, you know what, I'll fix it. I'll fix the shirt tonight, y'all can check it out, okay? By the time this video goes up, the t-shirt will be fixed, because the, the, it's just not, a, it's not right. So I'm gonna fix it, and by the time you see it, it'll be fixed, or the video will be up. Hey, either way, go check it out. T-shirts are coming soon, guys. Peace.